What's up, people? This is another episode of the Taylor Made McCrenzy Show. Man, we got a good one today. I got on here once again, my brother, Andre Demetrius. We are going to be talking about marriage. Andre, what's up? What's up, my brother? What is going on? Hey, man, it is what it is, man. I had to get you back on here, man, because... Man. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to get you back on here, man. We got to let the people know what's up, man, because you just got married, man. And we want to uh, uh, start this interview out with, man, how long have you been married? Man, I've been married for a little over two years now, brother. I actually, and, and when I say a little over two years, I mean just a little. My anniversary was the 29th of last month. And, um, Man, it's only the ninth now of the new month, so <laughs> mm-hmm. it's lived in a little over two years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yes, uh, man, so so man, man, that's that's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. That's good to hear, man. Um, what made you decide to get married? Well, man, let me tell you, I, you know, had been in a marriage before that didn't work out. And and why it didn't work? See, marriage is supposed to be forever. And you know, some people, you know, they just don't really foresee the the whole meaning of that. And I was a a, a, a victim of infidelity. The, my ex spouse stepped out on me, and I know that's probably going to be one of the questions, you know, that you have later on in this segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. my, my spouse stepped out on me, brother, and, you know, and, and I mean, it was it was hard, and I said I was never going to do it again. I was never going to get married again. But, man, this woman came in my life. She just gave me a whole new demeanor. Of the word marriage, brother. And, man, I, I'm telling you, that woman, she just gave me a whole new meaning. And I, had, I I knew that this woman was the one that God had wanted me to be with. So I had to, you know, consult him about it. And after he gave me the okay, then I made it happen. I asked her, and whew, I was hoping she said yes. And, man, she said yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's wonderful, man. That's wonderful, man. So my next question is... How do you feel about adultery? Do you think it's okay for a man to cheat and have multiple wives and not a woman? Oh, man. Let me tell you something, man. I almost said something when you said it's okay for a man to cheat and have multiple wives. Oh, my goodness. I almost said a bad word. That ain't <laughs> man, look at you. <laughs> no, sir. I'm you oh, hey, almost no, slipped up and left the trip up. <laughs> Man, Lord, man, listen, it is never okay yeah. to have multiple wives. Now, I know in different, you know, countries and stuff, you know, they have different beliefs, you know, and, and uh, but that's only one, one true and living God. And, 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 you know, he is Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And there is no way that he would ever allow, <laughs> you know, a man I have multiple wives and it's 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 not not even I, I don't even see how a man can even fathom in his mind that it's okay to to step out on his spouse. You made a commitment to God, to your wife and to yourself. Exactly. You know, so I just don't understand, you know, how people, you know, think it's okay to do that. You know what I'm saying? I man, listen. And they do it without conviction. Exactly. When you have no conviction, oh my God, you're exactly. in trouble. Exactly. When you ain't got conviction, it's like you don't, you don't have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit yeah, is what yeah. is what guides you. The Holy Spirit yeah. is the Word of God. If you get around people that don't like hearing the Word of God, the thing is you tell them the truth, but mm-hmm. you don't really want to focus your time on those people because they can lead you down the road that they going just because they don't feel what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, man, having com- uh, you having yeah. conviction is is what you want to have. Yes, man. Uh, you know, it, it, it takes me back to the you know the Bible verse Ephesians uh, four uh, chapter four verses two and three. It reminds me of that 
particular scripture, it says, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with mm. one another love. Yes. Either to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. When you, brother, when you separate yourself from the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. just like you drive, okay, for instance, when you're driving in a car, mm -hmm. you're speeding. You know you ain't supposed to be going 90 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour. And the Holy Spirit tells you, hey, you need to slow your butt down. Mm -hmm. But then when you ignore that and you keep going, see the Holy Spirit, okay, to back up off you and, and, and let you, you, say, let, let you let you experience something. Because, man, there you go. The police might pull you over. Know what I'm saying? You get pulled over now. And then when you get pulled over, you're like, no, oh, no, why you ain't tell me? I did. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Good. It. Because it's just like, man, sometimes we as people want to justify what we is doing is right in yeah. our eyes or other people's eyes. Well, this person is doing this, so I can do this too. Yeah. Or oh, she doing that, so I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? So, But we got to stand strong on the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we got to be firm with this thing because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And destroy. Yes, sir. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it, it, you know, back what I was saying, brother, when you separate yourself from your marriage and you know that you made a, a commitment to God. I mean, now, if even if you, you know, because men will fail you every day, but God will never fail you. Exactly. So we should have that mindset that I don't want to be a failure when it comes to pleasing my father. I don't want to sell him short. I know we all fall short. Yeah. But when you walk away, you step out of your marriage. Oh, brother, listen. Yeah. You, you, you're you going to have hell on your hands. Yeah. I'm just. Yep. Yeah. But failure, failure is, is not to never achieve. Right. But failure is not to, well, quitting is never to accomplish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, when you fail, you just got to keep on trying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You don't, yeah. you don't stop. You don't give up. The whole thing is uh, 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 Galatians 6 and 9. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be weary in well-doing. You should reap if you faint not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, so we're we going to go to the next question. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, should a man marry a woman just because she, he has kids with her? Oh, man. That, that one there, that's a question that you first need to have a conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. Do I love this woman enough to marry this woman? Mm -hmm. Because before y'all even have sex, you see, you're not supposed to have sex out of marriage. Exactly, exactly. So before you lay down with this woman, you need to ask yourself, do I love this woman enough to marry her? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you lay down with a woman, you done said in your mind, you done made up in your spirit. You should have yes, exactly. that woman mm -hmm. is the woman that you're going to marry. Yes, exactly. So before you even test the waters and, you know, test drive that car, mm -hmm. you, you're putting a ring on that finger. Now I'm saying that make it holy. Before you even go that way, because when it's only, it's, you have a baby with her. Then now you're in a situation that you're really starting to learn how a person is. Exactly. <laughs> start to learn you. Then y'all to involve the baby. Yeah, exactly. In this situation. And, and, and a lot so of now, I, I just want to touch on what you're saying. And a lot of cases is that the traits that we have mm -hmm. are in the kids that we have as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, that goes a lot with training up a child in the way that she go. Then when they get older, they should not depart. So mm -hmm. it's one thing for a person. You have some people they wanna they they'll go out there and they'll smoke weed with the kids and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. they later down the road they'll say they'll tell their kids, well, well, don't do this and don't do that. And the kids gonna look back and say, well, well, you do this, you know what I'm saying? And you're not living accordingly. So why should I listen to you? I'm gonna do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's very important that we be in line. Yeah, so, that we be in line. And yeah, you're right. So I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Anything else you want to touch on that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I say, you know, just to answer the question, I don't think 
that you should marry a woman just because you had a baby with her. Because that can just be one of those things where, you know, like I say, we all fall short. You had a weak moment Mm -hmm. and you done laid down with this uh, individual and you guys feed the child in this and you guys' personalities do not match up. You guys are unequally yoked. You guys are, you, you, one is not goal oriented. One don't care about anything. I mean, it's just so many things that can happen, you know, with involving a child and, and you guys are not compatible for one another. Mm-hmm. So then now, if you, you know, forced to marry this, uh, this person, you're going to be unhappy. And you know, God, even though, you made a mistake. God forgives us, and He wants us to be happy. He say that I come so that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Exactly. So I want you to live in the abundance, and that is part of being happy. Exactly. You know? exactly. So I, I I don't think that you should marry a woman just because you have a child with it. Yeah, because you know I think that like when I was in a relationship, you know what I'm saying. I only really had one girl girlfriend my whole life. So when I was in a relationship when I was younger, you know what I'm saying, I was basically there just because, man, I wanted to have sex. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really about um, who she was because we would argue all the time. She would always want to argue about simple stuff. And that's the reason why I felt like I didn't want to marry her. You know what I'm saying? And it came a point to where we was having sex all the time and she ended up pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I didn't... I di- we didn't go through with that us having a kid together. You know what I'm saying? Because I was young at the time. She wanted to have an abortion. And I was just like, man, you know, I ain't know what to say. I was just like, I was young. You know what I'm saying? Mistake I made if, you know what I'm saying, just by that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was looking at, man, man, she, she argued all the time. Man, I ain't got time for that. If I have a baby with her, man, she be arguing with me the whole time about nothing, about simple stuff. I ain't got time for all that. So my, my mistake was laying down with her. That was my mistake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't stand up as a man, and the consequence was us having a child, and it got aborted. That yeah. was the consequence. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, if God still want to punish me for that, I deserve the punishment. But I turned my life around, and now I'm 13 years settlement. So I learned from my situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I agree with you on that. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't marry somebody. Just because you have a kid with them, because that might not be the person for you. You just have to yeah. learn from your mistakes and, yes. and, and move forward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, next question. Um, what can you say to the men and women out here sleeping around and don't want to get married? Listen, y'all better stop. <laughs> y'all better stop because you're going to write a check that you can't cash. Mm-hmm. Just, we just said, you know, just a moment ago. You know, you have a baby out of wedlock, and this person is not compatible. You know what I'm saying? You 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 sleep around, it's either one or two things can happen. Well, three things. One, you're going to end up with a baby. Two, you end up with an STD. Mm-hmm. Or you just, you just, then, 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 then looked up and got blessed, and you walked out with neither one of them. You know, and, and, but it's not okay because what you're doing is you're hurting yourself because see really what it is is you're trying to fill a void you're trying to fill a void and you don't know what it is so what's happening is is you are giving yourself away and then it's going to come a time though when you're going to get tired of it you're going to get tired of just giving yourself away and what i mean by that is your mental your mindset you you, you, you you're mentally going to be exhausted you're going to be hurt because you're going to look down the line and just see that you wasted all of this time exactly. giving your people away. Mm-hmm. And you could have really been building yourself and your relationship with, with Christ. Exactly. You could have been, you know, doing that instead of going out and, and you know, being a whoremonger. Exactly. So, exactly. You know, so exactly. stop. Yeah, I say stop that and get yourself together because in the long run, you're only hurting yourself. Exactly. 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 And love is an action word. You can't say you love God and then you don't prove yourself to him. This is about proving yourself this whole time. We go to the job. We prove ourselves to the boss man all the time. But when it comes down to the word of God and we say we love God, we fall short because the simple fact of the matter is 
we feel that this flesh is more important than the will of God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and yes, we sir. all gonna fall. We all make mistakes. Yep. Only people that ain't made no mistakes is God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. That's it. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, so, so, do you do you have any kids? Yes, I do. I have two two beautiful kids. I have a boy. His name is Jalen. He's 11, and I have a daughter, Kaylee. She's nine. Okay. And they are beautiful children. I had I had these children with my ex wife. And beautiful, smart, intelligent. I'm, I'm serious. These are these, no. <laughs> these babies here. Listen, mm -hmm. they can have. And they so spoiled too, man. Oh my goodness. I'd be trying not to spoil them, but they so cute. <laughs> so cute. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it'd it be like that. Man, you hey. kill them everything. Hey, bro. Like, go to the grocery store, you can Walmart, and you know my daughter. She always want to go to the tourist every every day. You can go to Walmart every day. Mm -hmm. and, if, if, if it was up to her and she got to get a toy every day, you know, I, I, we have a little briefing. Listen, now I just bought y'all toys yesterday or last week. So we're not going to go in here to buy no toys. Okay. I need y'all to understand that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. So then we go in the store. Well, daddy, can we just go back there and look? Uh, <laughs> no, we, we, we can't go back there and look. Daddy, we just want to look. Okay, and I'm setting myself up because yeah. I know when we go back there to look, they are gonna see something they want, and they face is gonna be so cute. And I'm just like, whatever, all right, get it. But we, we ain't getting nothing else, man. Every time, yeah. I always have to stop by. No, we ain't buying, but I. Eat <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's good though, man. Hey, man, it ain't, ain't no wrong giving nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? And especially, especially you, you uh, they, they, they being obedient, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Obedience is better sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? So being obedient, as long as they obeying you and honoring you, and it's it's all right to bless them. Man. Ain't no wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so ain't no wrong with that. So um, next question, man. We got something else from um, people want to hear, man. What should single mothers do? To attract a man, a husband, they should listen. Take care of yourself. Make sure your hygiene is on point. I'm just gonna go there. I'm just gonna keep it all the way one hundred with you. Yeah. Keep yourself up. You know, eat healthy, drink plenty of water, exercise, make yourself look good. So not only that you can just attract a man, but you can also be healthy. You know what I'm saying? And and. Make sure you, you, you dress yourself up, you know, do your hair. You don't have to put on makeup to, to, to show us that you look good, to show a man you look good. You don't have to put makeup on. You have to put hair in your head. <laughs> hey, we don't care about no lashes. but they, man, no, <laughs> The no, big old lashes, we don't care about no big old <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I wrote a song with um, uh, a rap artist called Mo Gator yeah. uh, back in the early 2000s. <laughs> You don't have to put no makeup on to show me that you look good. You don't have to put no hair on your head to get a compliment here and there. Because you will compliment by yourself. Those things are not necessities. I love looking at the natural you. So you don't have to do all of that. Just fix yourself up. Take a bath. Make sure you smell good. I love the smell of uh, my wife when she just smells. She's always on point. She just always smells so good. And that's one of the things that attract men. When you smell good. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, oh, Holy Spirit, forgive me, but you, yeah, you know what? Like, you know what we mean? You, we mean. Look like a monkey. You look like a monkey, but you got some fragrance on. You walk past me, you gonna, you gonna look. You still you gonna, gonna look. look. <laughs> you gonna catch some attention. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. You know, do do you have? You know, do make sure you look good, smelling good. That's and you attract a man, I'm telling you, but you shouldn't go out looking. But that's all you have to do, just keep yourself together, and God will send you a man. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to go out looking. Exactly. That's for find you. But you can take care of yourself within the meantime until he finds you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we got another question. Um, My last question right here, man. What type of women or woman should a man marry? A godly woman. Not just a good woman, but a godly woman. See, okay, so explain, explain to the people, or uh, explain to the men, what a godly woman is. Because we want to, we, most of us, we just want the baddest thing, smoking, the, 
the supermodels, the, the big old tig old bitties, and you got the fat, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know, most of us want that. But tell the people what we really need as a man. Tell the men what we really need in a woman as a man. Listen, you need a godly woman and not just a girl. Let me, let me break down the difference. Uh, a good woman, you know what I'm saying? She'll, she'll cook. She'll clean. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, she'll do the grown folks thing with you. And, you know, just be there. But a godly woman She's going to make sure we, she's going to build you up spiritually. She's going to speak the word of God in your life and over you. She's going to pray over you at night. So, you know, see, some, sometimes people don't, 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 sometimes men don't even know when their woman is touching them while they're sleeping, when they got a godly woman and they're praying for them. Now I'm saying, you know, when they see that, you know, they need just a little bit of encouragement, they're going to, they're going to speak the word of God in their life. To build their spirit, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna uh, 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 always make sure that you know when you're doing wrong. Exactly. God, it's not going. God, God don't like that. Exactly. You, you exactly. need to correct that because you you want to live everything your, your life, you know, pleasing up. Excuse me, pleasing unto God. Yeah. Yeah. So you out doing whatever you out drinking, you out partying, clubbing, and all that stuff there. You're not praying like you're supposed to, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, your relationship is, is you know, not where it used to be. You know, that, that woman's not going to let you exactly. go without knowing that, hey, you slacking. Exactly. And no, we, we're going to do this together. Exactly. Because the whole thing is submissiveness, but a man is supposed to be submissive to the most high. You know what I'm saying? When the woman is submissive to the man, because the woman was made for the man, not the man made for the woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not just that, but understand she is supposed to be a help me to the man. Your your yeah. wife is supposed to be a help me to the man. Not saying that the husband doesn't help the wife in, in the situation. You know what I'm saying? Which I talk about in my books of law, in my book of law, uh, righteous standpoint of laws of attraction. But mm -hmm. you still, as a man. You still got to understand that you got another partner. It's another part of you because y'all won when y'all get married. It's another part of you in the relationship. She got feelings. She got thoughts. She got things she want to do, too. It can't just be, well, uh, it's all about me, uh, and I'm the man. And you supposed to just do what I say do, and you living out of order. It don't work like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I anything else you want to touch on that? Yeah, you, you, you know, the woman, she, you know, be submissive, but she can also not saying that doesn't mean that you you can't voice your opinion, you know, because your voice is to be heard mm -hmm. when you know you have something that's bothering or you see something or whatever the, the case may be. You know what I'm saying you are su submissive because that's what you know God said in His in in, in His Word, but that you know, husband, that's not saying that she you own this. Yeah, she got. Just she got to bow down to you and stuff. I'm not saying that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying that, that ain't holy at all. Nah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you think you know, don't 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 get a, a revelation in that scripture. Yeah. Think, you know, it, 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 yeah, I think I think that a lot of women, you know, what I'm saying when men talk about some being submissive, we thinking you just you just supposed to do anything we say do because if anybody. It don't matter who it is. If somebody's telling you to do the wrong thing, especially when it pertains to the word of God and then what God is saying, no matter who it is, you are supposed to follow the word of God. You're supposed to follow what the Holy Spirit is saying versus right. what that person is saying. Even if you do love them or whatever, you're supposed to follow right. the Holy Spirit over that right. uh, anytime because we're right. going to be judged by Christ. When it's all said and done with, we're going to be judged by Christ. The whole okay. thing, the whole thing is God comes to con con convict us. Right. We can only condemn ourselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? Christ is going to judge us by mm -hmm. what God, uh, what God order is. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Anything else you want to touch on that? No, nah, man. That's it on that. One, okay. Bro. Okay. Yeah, man. This is Andre Demetrius, y'all. Andre Demetrius, man. Let the people know about your music, where they can find your music at one time, real quick, man. We want to let them know who you are. 
in, 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 in the music area one more time. Yes, sir. Listen, you can find me on all music platforms. Go to Amazon, go to iTunes, Apple Music, and type in Andre Demetrius. Let me spell it for you. That's A-N-D-R-E-D-A-N-E-T-R-I-C-E. And download my single, Used to Be My Girl. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, my brother and my sister, listen, real music speaks volume. Music is is. It's, it's healing music. It man, listen, it's an outlet. And yeah. sometimes you can relate to something, and the, the type of music that I create is feel good music. You know, and this mm -hmm. one, this song used to be my girl. It will make you move. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, so you were actually on stage and did concerts with like uh um was it Alicia Keys or uh was it uh. The, the first the first person who I broke out, I did shows with so many people in the, the industry, but the first person who broke out with me, um, excuse me, who I broke out on was Keisha Cole. Okay, Keisha Cole, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I did Keisha Cole. That's the scent from heaven. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, man, that was, that was an amazing experience. And when I got a taste of that, brother, I said, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Because so, you, you, you. Or a man of God, but you do R and B music, man. What can you say to the people um, that's willing to that has a relationship with God too, but they want to be they want to do R and B music too? Music is an expression. I was uh, one of one of uh, my my friends back in in Pensacola. Uh, Mike, you may know him. His name is Michael Rowland. Yeah, I know Michael. I went yeah. um, I went to school with a cousin just together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mike, listen, Mike is a great performer, great entertainer, teacher, mentor, you name it. This this guy, he is amazing. He said I was in I was in um uh Church Zion Hope in Pensacola and it was for the Christmas play uh that was going on Christmas um something that they had for Christmas at Zion Hope and I went Mike seen me. He said, hey, he said, come here. He said, I want to talk to you for a minute. He said, you know, you you coming up. You sound good, man. You're doing your music. He said, and it's not gospel. He said, let me tell you something. He said, don't let no one discourage you because you're not singing gospel music. He said, you love Christ. He said, I know that about you. He said, music, music is an expression. He said, so express how you feel. Let it out. He said, because sometimes you could be going through something and you can talk to somebody or you hold it in and it will eat you alive. Exactly. Then, exactly. It's what you want to do to relieve yourself from going crazy. Exactly. Let it out. Exactly. Because a lot yeah. of times in my music, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I lay myself a hip hop artist, but I do gospel. And right. I talk about a lot of situations that I've been through in life. And I have a lot of situations that I talk about, but I also refer back to Christ or my relationship with God. But I always talk about where I've been, where I'm at, and where I'm going in my music. No matter right. who say what, you shouldn't say that. And this is my story, but if you can listen to Joe Blow over there talking about some cootie cat. Right. <laughs> and then you can listen to me talking about some, uh, all giving all praise to the most high. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, always want to tell your story because you sing, you sing, you know what I'm saying? I can sing, but I can't sing like you sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so everybody got their thing, man. Everybody got their niche. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is, a, they, God gave them a gift to be able to, to put forth in front of the people, to show the people who you serve, show the people um, what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody is gonna grasp to you. Not everybody's gonna fly to you and be like, "Oh, I want to chill." That's my boy over there. And, but but the thing about it is, most people want to grasp it and, and, and come come uh, get close to people when they start making a lot of money. When they right. see people out there, a lot of people out there say, "Oh, oh, oh where well, they the best at it?" They, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people jump on, but then if you call them person up, same people up, they ain't even gonna answer the phone unless you got something for them. <laughs> so so yeah man so yeah man anything else you want to give to the people man your ig um 
um, anything like that so the people can know where to find you at um, before we close out this interview? Yeah, on all social media networks, just type in Andre Demetrius and you can find me there. Even if you needed to email me, Andre Demetrius at gmail.com. Okay, okay, okay. All right, people, man. This has been another episode of the Taylor Made McCrenzy Show. You can chase your dreams in your sleep, but for those who are awake, shall receive a real revelation. Oh, yeah.